If you want insane deals on legit baby onesies from great developers, click that link down in the description below and start saving yourself some money. What's going on guys? My name is Big Fry. Welcome back to the channel. And if you guys haven't heard the news, uh, I was notified about 150 times in the last hour. Police 1013 has closed down development. They are no longer creating the game, or I should say Matt Norman is no longer developing the game. He released a statement on his website, police1013.com, that also links to a 15-minute video that Matt recorded in which he blames everybody but himself for the downfall of Police 1013. He blames people like me, who uh, apparently are single-handedly killing the indie dev scene, which I've heard before in the past from developers who were called out on their shit and their lies and their scams. They lash back by saying that I kill indie devs. I kill them. And that they care so much about the indies. We're, we're, we're gonna get into it. I can't fucking believe that half of this shit was said. My name is is listed in the announcement. We're gonna go through the announcement here, and then we're gonna get into the video. So, Police 1013 announcement. Unfortunately, in the past few weeks, I have had to deal with personal and mental attacks from within social media. Especially, but not limited to Big Fry TV, Sid Alpha, and many others. And I want to go on record right now that saying I have never attacked Matt Norman personally. I've said it's a scam. I've said that he's conning people, yes. But those are my opinions. I have never attacked his family. I have never attacked him personally, physically, nothing like that. I have talked about the project that he's creating and anything else outside of that. If people are in comment sections attacking him, whatever, that has nothing to do with me. He doesn't do a very good job at separating the two. Yes, I've made fun of the game. I don't personally look at that as an attack. I just think that it's joking about a game that I personally thought was never going to get made. Let's get let's, let's keep going here. These attacks have been in the hundreds, if not thousands. Please read the hundreds of comments on their sites and you'll see what type of hate we've had sent to me personally, my family, and my community. So he's talking a lot about the comment section. He's looping my personal video words with the comment section where you guys know the YouTube comment section is toxic as fuck. I'll give him that. But if somebody leaves a comment under one of my videos saying that it's a fucking scam and he should go kill himself, that's not that's not my words. And he doesn't do a very good job at distinguishing the difference between the two. Once this announcement goes out, I'm sure they will quickly start deleting the videos and comments to save themselves from possible legal action. I'm not, Matt. I'm out here. I'm here. If you're going to if you're going to pursue this legal action shit, Feel free to do so, because I I have DMs from you where you've subtly hinted at a defamation lawsuit because of an opinion I had about the game you were making. <laughs> We've been working uh, really hard to bring on an investor slash publisher over the past months. Those negations are now over due mainly to the incredible amount of attacks we've dealt with. So I hold those people that have done this responsible for us losing this important deal. I would love for you, Matt, to post a screenshot of an investor or a, or a, a recording or whatever proving that these investors pulled their funding because of internet comments. I don't fucking believe it. I think you're now manipulating people even more so. I would love to see that kind of proof. After five long years, I cannot continue. I will not continue to allow my family to put up with such incredible abuse. This has mentally taken a huge toll on my health. To help explain this decision, I have put together a video that should explain the heartache and disappointment that these attacks have caused. I'm sorry I couldn't do this anymore. I'm devastated by this. I want to thank all those who believed in this project and who donated to Project Blue Line. Unfortunately, crowdfunding is a risk, and I've done everything in my power to fulfill everything I set out to do. Unfortunately, being mentally and physically attacked. Physically attacked? Really? On a constant basis is not something I signed up for. You've been physically attacked by people? That's crazy. I, Again, I don't believe it. 
<laughs> Please understand this is the hardest decision I've had to make. Thousands of man hours and a lot of my own money and money from generous donors have been wasted because of these people I feel are responsible. So he's talking about me. On top of that, losing developers, moderators, breaching NDAs are also to blame for this announcement. Now, he's talking about my last video where I talked about the dev team quitting because uh, a moderator apparently broke an NDA. But what Matt doesn't know or should know but doesn't is that the moderator that reached out to me to leak all of that wasn't under NDA. He never signed the agreement. According to him, that's what he told me. He said, I'm not under NDA. Matt doesn't realize that I never signed an NDA. Here you go. Okay, so and then it goes into the video. The video is 15 minutes. A lot of it is Matt talking about how hard he's worked and, and how hard this has been. If you guys want to watch the full unedited video, the link is down in the description as well as the top pinned comment. I'm going to be totally transparent here. I'm going to cut to the parts that I'm just calling out and and the parts where he talks about what I've done to him and, and all of this shit. So we're just going to kind of jump through the video. If you guys want to watch the whole thing, it is down below. So check that out. In these years I've had to deal with a million and one issues that have arisen during the development. The ongoing change of social media staff, changing of moderators on our Discord, staff members breaching non-disclosure agreements if removed from the staff positions, developers wanting a chance to show off their skills and then doing absolutely nothing for months at a time, and then other developers deciding not to push development when the sniff of a new investment opportunity arises. On top of that, the mounting pressure of having so many people expecting to see a massive work being done in little time. He says in such little time, but like it's been it's it's been like seven years with not even a playable demo. Like, do you blame these people? Like, do you still call it impatience after seven years? I, I don't know. On top of these things, I personally have had to deal with a toxicity I've never witnessed in my 47 years alive. When fans or critics or YouTube influencers don't see what they want to see, they turn so nasty. On many occasions, it just became too much to handle. Everything from threats toward my children and wife, to death threats, to comments like I hope you die of cancer and slowly. So again, doesn't distinguish who's doing what. These are YouTube comments that I have seen. I will give him that. I've seen people comment under his video on his Facebook posts telling him to fucking die of cancer. I've seen it. So he's he's absolutely right. That shit has nothing to do with Sid Alpha or myself unless you're trying to say that because of the videos we made calling you on some bullshit is is a re is the reason why these people are attacking you? Is that where we're going with this? Yet the hate continues to flood in, and then YouTubers dig deeper when you're down just so that they can get more viewers, more hits, likes, and ad revenue for their U YouTube trouble. Let's talk about this idea of ad revenue and clicks. I know Matt likes to throw it around like that's what we're doing. We're just doing this for the revenue. We're doing it for the clicks. Guys, if you knew, you know what? I'm going to bring it up here. If you knew how much I made off of these videos, you would fucking shit yourself. Um, one video, uh, 86,000 views. One video has uh, 30K views. Another video has almost 40,000 views. So, um, yeah, cool. So definitely not my highest viewed videos at all. Uh, in total, I've made about $160 in ad revenue. That's how much I made. I'm, I'm being totally honest. D like, do you want me to send that to you, Matt? Or, or should I take it? And, and go buy some assets and then make dev blogs. Should I do that with the money that I made or? The world has become so damaged with toxic people that I'm afraid for a new generation developer. You, you are that toxic person, Matt. You have consistently attacked people. You have consistently, under my videos, attacked me when I haven't even, videos that have nothing to do with Police 1013, you're there talking shit. You, you have repeatedly done this, so don't try to play victim. This is all you, 100%. Don't, don't talk about the next generation like you give a fuck, because you don't. The biggest issue with critics is that they make up things to cause more drama. They say things so completely wrong without any type of fact-checking that other YouTubers pick up on those lies and then spew them out even louder than the first growing a simple lie to a massive fabrication. 
That then turns a community into judge and jury who then scream scam. You want to know the best way to, to make somebody not say a game is a scam? You make the fucking game, Matt. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the only one that is going through this. This is now the common theme with all developers who dare to be independent. No. No, it isn't. In my five years of developing, I've seen so many studios fold because one person claims scam and then others do everything in their power to shut them down. That's not an industry. That's actually more of a culling system where only the rich survive. I actually will give him that. It is a culling system because there is so much shit out there now that you have to come correct. It's not about the rich surviving. It's about the people who are doing it right. We never had a problem with the assets. We had a problem with the fact that you said you were making everything yourself. We never had a problem with the fact that the game was an alpha. It's the fact that the game has been in development since 2013. A fact that you like to skew and try to hide and try to tell people that the game has been in development since 2017 and not 2013. We don't like the shady shit. So I will, it is a culling. It absolutely is. There are people out there like myself, like Sid Alpha, Jim Sterling, Young, yeah, all of these people who will try to get rid of the garbage. And if you happen to fall into that shoot, well, maybe you should look inward. There are indie developers who have made millions in crowdfunding and have done nothing. And then we take 120,000 in donations over five years and are expected to exceed those with millions. All the time knowing that we're hugely under budget and require more community donations to pay the bills. This is why I always discuss the idea of project scope. If you realize that you're severely under budget and you can't create the game without millions of dollars in donations, don't make a fucking game that requires that kind of investment if you can't find a way to fund it. It's just, it's like it's it's a simple concept, but it's being twisted into uh, this victim. Oh, we had it so rough. This was your idea to make a game like this. If you couldn't get the funding, you couldn't get the investment, that's on you. It's not on people like me. You really think that my first video, March 2019, you're telling me that things were smooth sailing before I came along and Sid Alpha came along? They obviously weren't. That's what I don't get here. Your project scope for one person being a developer was obviously way too astronomical for you. So why do this for six, almost seven years? One thing that has devastated me is when I am called a con man. A con man would suggest that I sit at home and collect money whilst not working toward an end product. I spend anywhere between 10 and 16 hours a day, five days a week, sometimes weekends, building assets, designing maps, texturing, modeling, and on top of that, sourcing business opportunities to get us further in front for our future. A lot of you guys might not have seen this because I only posted this on Twitter, but one of the uh, one of the moderators or, or team members reached out. They actually did break their NDA and they wanted to keep it anonymous so that Matt can't come back and, and fucking sue them, essentially. They did br breach their NDA. And they also had access to the team viewer to where you can see what goes in, what goes out, what changes are being done, and also who's doing it. And in their statement, they said that if they still had access to the information, uh, they would show how little is being done and how inactive Matt is, how often Matt takes breaks and vacations. It's not worth trying to fight Matt because Matt will do whatever is necessary to silence the truth. Now, this is a team member statement. So, a complete contradictory to Matt working 16-hour days every single day, sometimes weekends. So just a complete contradicting statement here. I am more prone to believe my source than I am Matt Norman, but you guys can feel free to take it how you want. Those of you like Big Fry and Sid Alpha, Big Fry especially, I challenge you to know what it feels like. Put your real name out there. Don't hide behind your anonymous tags. See what happens to your life when you're truly transparent after attacking so many developers and game companies. I put it to you that you won't and can't because you're happy to hide on the internet behind tagger names. I mean, to be fair, my real name is out there. I, I mean, you can find that on multiple pictures and images like that. That 
that's a thing. But like the thing is, is we didn't we didn't tell you to become a game dev and and start a company and put your name out there publicly. Like we didn't do any of this. You 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 comment under Facebook posts with your real profile. Like we didn't ask you to do any of this. This is on you. Like I, so because we are smart on the internet and we don't put our personal information out there, we're we're the cowards. I would say we're being pretty smart about it. Maybe. I mean, my name is out there. <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand this. Of course, you'll say you don't need to do that, but I dare you to fully appreciate the reality of what people like me go through. Okay, so if you want me to go through what you went through, let me take a couple hundred bucks. I'm gonna go buy some assets. I'll go throw up a donation page and then just tell people I'm making a game for the next seven years. I'll Is that what you want me to do? Not doing that shows that you're not being transparent and owning your comments and actions like I have all through this development process. <laughs> the, the fucking irony of this one, Matt. Lastly, to those who throw stones, stop and think about what damage you're about to cause. People have taken their life because of similar things. I certainly wanted to. Think about what exactly you're doing when you make such cruel and inappropriate comments of others. Whether you dislike what they're doing or not, I am a human being. I have family. I have something to contribute to the world just like you do. Hopefully you have the ability to stop hiding behind your tag and can show empathy for those of us who gave it a go. I have people in my life that have family members that have committed suicide. I have friends that have killed themselves. I lost a friend earlier this year to suicide. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk about suicide. But what I really think is going on is I made a video or a couple of videos, and I really don't think the words in those videos were, were that uh, attacky or that um, devastating. To Matt, what I think happens is this mob mentality when I have people randomly from my comment section, my viewership going and attacking you. It's not on me. It's not like I'm sitting here calling them to action to do it. I just make videos and I give my opinions and people take it from there. I think Matt is having a really big time struggle with those comments. I really don't think it's me. I think he's looking at it as these people are coming here because of this video, so this video is at fault. That's not how this actually works. I have no control over the internet. I have no control over how anything gets taken. Do I have a responsibility to give you guys my opinions and give you guys the facts? And I think I, I, I think I do, and I think I do that pretty well. I think I give you guys exactly what's going on, and then I tell you my opinion on it, which is exactly what this video is, and that's exactly what every other Police 1013 video is. It's the facts of the situation, and then my opinion on those facts and that situation. If Matt thinks I'm lying about something, I'm very curious to see what factual thing that I have lied about. If I can give my opinion and say that I think it's a scam, that's that's not lying. I really did think that this game was a scam, and I think a lot of other people are going to think so now that they're seeing these posts. The fact that, oh, you just ran away with, like, wait for it now, Matt. It's going to get even worse for you now because of all the shit that's been going on. And th that's not on me. So don't try to fucking blame myself or Sid Alpha or anybody else for it. You're not going to be able to police the internet. You can't. I can't. Nobody can. It is what it is. My journey ends here and the hopes and dreams of others who believed in my journey will also be suffering right now. Thank those people who risk their own money to put toward games because at the end of the day, they are doing it for those not willing to give someone a chance to do something special. There is nothing but pure contempt within the indie game industry and most, if not all, of that comes from those keyboard warriors that want everything now without acknowledging the reality of what goes into making something special. Every developer does deal with this. Um, the, the idea that everybody wants everything now. That's what we're, that's, that's the industry, that's the generation that we are raised in. Instant gratification, um, instant, 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 I want it now, I want it now, content, content, content. It's the truth. Guess what? Fucking adapt, okay? That, it is what it is. You, you either adapt or die. Insurgency. Everybody wants content, content, content. Look what happened to Insurgency. 
The first two months, they were radio silent. Everybody was like, what the fuck? Their player numbers dropped. And it's been a struggle to crawl back. World War III, same thing. Every developer deals with this. Is it toxicity? Yeah, there's toxicity. There's no doubt about it. And it's because of that culling mentality. Because there has been so many scams and so much shit out here that you have to fucking come correct. And if you don't, well, there's the door. This industry is cutthroat as fuck. I will give Matt that. It is. You chose it. If you want to place blame, then place it on social influencers who make ad revenue off people's livelihoods, who shit on independent creatives, who are doing their best to make something new. They are the people stealing money from kids asking you to like and subscribe or buy products they sell at the start or end of their video. You literally sold baby onesies? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Blame social influencers for the fall of a game. Are you, are like, I, my first video was this year. You've been developing it for six years prior. What do you, like, it's my, so it's my fault. It's mine and Sid's fault. That's what it is, guys. Sid Alpha and myself, we killed Police 1013's ability to sell baby onesies and wrapping paper. This is why people think you're a fucking joke. They are the ones making money off the hype and vile spew of their content, yet they're not being held accountable. Why? Because go against them and you're either deleted, they'll claim you're not, or subject to ridicule for standing against them. You literally attack customers who question anything about the game in private DMs, then you ban them, and then you consistently delete announcements and other dev blogs that you post in your Discord, so then when people question why they can't see it, you get mad at them and attack them and then ban them. You, the, the projection in this video is some of the craziest I've ever seen. Everything that Matt is saying we do, he does tenfold. Every comment from Wingman Games that was under any of my videos is still there unless Matt has deleted them himself. I pinned one of them, for fuck's sakes. At one point, people from my Discord who were also in the Police 1013 Discord, who never said a fucking word over there, were banned. Because Matt lurked in my Discord and cross-referenced every single person who was in both Discords and got rid of them. And that is a real thing. I had people messaging me who were longtime viewers saying, I was just banned there and I've never said a word over there. He sat and cross-referenced. So instead of doing the dev thing, the 10 to 16 hour days that Matt was working, he was in our Discord, lurking, cross-referencing potential spies. But he's the victim, guys. Remember, he did nothing. It was only Big Fry and Sid Alpha and other social media influencers. Guys, all of that ad revenue money I made, all of the products you guys have bought from me, it's, it's because I'm an asshole and I'm not being held accountable for my actions. Not Matt Norman, who took seven years to make nothing. Not Matt Norman, who has gone through more than one set of developers, moderators, and staff. Not Matt Norman, the one who drove away the most recent dev team because he made them a promise that he wouldn't attack anybody in social media in public and couldn't live up to the bargain, so they all left. Not that Matt Norman. No, 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 no. It's Big Fry's fault. I'm just an internet thug, according to him. Brutal. Fucking brutal manipulation of all of this. All of the events have been documented from multiple people in the community, and yet, to this day, he is still lying. Brutal. One thing I can say is that even though I've had developers use information against me, I've had moderators breach NDAs and send information out that's confidential contractually, I've never outed them. Actually, when the moderator reached out to me and didn't break an NDA, he wasn't under one, you put out his full name in a statement, which you, you did out him. You put out his information just like that. So, I mean, that happened last week, Matt. Do you not fucking remember that? This is the reality of the gaming industry, all the way from EA down to small independents that have put up with such filth. Those that encourage it or those that feed on it, you're the scum of society. You're the ones that are killing this industry. 
You deserve the worst possible outrage put back on you. Your violent outbursts makes you small and vulgar, and I hope you never have to feel what it's like to be on the other end of people like you. We have felt that in every interaction we've had with you, Matt. <laughs> the, the, proje the projection here is unfucking godly Police 1013 was going really well. No, it wasn't. Things were moving forward. No, they weren't. The game was going to get made. No, it wasn't. It was real and authentic. No, it wasn't. There was a really beautiful vision. No, there was not. It's just a pity that some of you weren't more accepting of the game and its huge potential. The potential for this game was squandered many, many years ago. Seven years in development, right? Six or seven years. And still nothing. There was no game. The people who backed this fucking project weren't able to play a demo. They weren't able to do anything. But watch you squander away hundred and some thousand dollars worth of their donation money for nothing. If only you had applauded the struggle, stood up for its future, thanked its developers and staff, and believed in its success. Who knows? You could have helped make the greatest police simulator ever made. So I know this video is a long one. There was a lot of stuff I wanted to address in that video. If you guys have been here the whole time, appreciate you watching. So at this point, Matt Norman, under the video that he posted, has, uh, has pretty much activated his community. The thing that he accuses me and Sid Alpha of doing, he actually does. Because this is something that I've never done. I, I never enjoy doxing. The fact that his website got DDoSed and taken down, to me, the first response that I had was, that's kind of shitty. I don't, I don't appreciate anybody fucking doing that. I don't control my audience. I don't control my comments. I put my video out and that's it. And if they want to go and attack Matt or whatever, that's not on me. I don't actively tell you guys to go over there and shit talk them. I don't tell my Discord to go in there and fucking stir up drama. I don't do that because I don't have enough time in the day to fucking worry about it. Matt, on the other hand, put a video out, 15 minutes, basically playing victim the entire time, twisting truths, and then underneath it in the description says, please thank the following YouTubers and their fans for the reason Police 1013 is no longer. Links all of my videos, links the Sid Alpha videos. No one should have to put up with this hatred and campaign to destroy everything I've worked so hard to accomplish. And then you go to the Facebook page and Matt's on there with a link to his video and he says, please stand up and fight back against the trolls and keyboard warriors. They are to blame for the game industry's demise. So he is activating his community. He is telling you guys to stand up to people like me and Sid Alpha, linking the videos for you to go and literally shit talk. And I mean, hey, it's really happening. I'm not sitting here playing victim. I'm letting you guys know that this is what Matt Norman does. He twists the facts. He projects all of the things that he does tenfold and says that we do. And you can scroll down. You can go to all the videos and you can click. You're a disgusting human being. You're an asshole. This was his dream. He spent all this time and it was a one-man job. It wasn't a one-man job. He went through multiple developers over the years. Why do you think? Why do you think that is? You defame people for money and ask for money. I made... How much money on that video did I say? 160? Over three videos? I made nothing. Like, really, I made nothing. The reason he is like this is because he is going crazy over the hate. You say you've seen screenshots of him talking shit to people and expect people to take your word on that? What is, what is it too hard to post a screenshot of these comments? No, it's actually pretty easy. This is from somebody who had donated and expressed a little bit of concern about the uh, deleting of announcements in the Discord. So he asked something publicly in their Discord about how or why these things are being deleted. Matt then takes it to DMs and you guys can read here. Um, what do you need to know? I saw you bitching in the channel. Now's your chance to ask me directly. This is somebody who gave him money, by the way. Um, and then he, he DMs him uh, about, uh, I guess, about seven or six hours later. You have something to say? Don't speak to any of the staff from this point on. You speak to me. And this guy said, I said what I needed to in the chat. Again, it's a simple concern. There's no need for anyone to get upset. I'm not upset. You come to me from now on. You were bitching. Here I am. And you guys can go and read this entire engagement. The guy says, okay, again, I said, like I said before, I don't know exactly what the promises were because they were deleted. 
because there were people talking about this topic in his Discord, and he was just asking about it. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck are you bitching about then? You're wasting my time. You don't even know what you're bitching about. For fuck's sakes, you're wasting my time. If you can't tell me what promises were made, then what are you bitching about? And that's what this guy's saying. He's like, I don't know what you guys are talking about because the thing was deleted. You don't seem to know the truth anyway. You're a troll, aren't you? You idiot. How embarrassing. This is, this is somebody who gave him money. I'm going to have that entire conversation archived in a link down below if you guys want to read this. I'm not lying when I say Matt has attacked people who donated to him in private messages, and this is one of many conversations that I have seen over the last few months. This is a real thing. So, the manipulation here is at an all-time high, and I understand a lot of you guys are feeling like you, you wasted time. Um, you feel like this is my fault. It's not my fault. This pattern of behavior from Matt has been growing increasingly more and more toxic. And then once myself and Sid Alpha made our videos and put it into a spotlight that I don't think this game has really ever seen before, that's when things started to spiral downhill. That's not my fault. That's just us shining a light in a very dark corner of the internet. And when Matt feels like he's been backed into a corner, which apparently he feels like that now, now it's attack mode. So for all the ones leaving comments, you guys, I mean, it is what it is. It's a comment. I'm not going to let it get to me, but I'm just showing you guys the repeating pattern of toxicity from Matt himself while he sits there and plays victim and then claims that it's us. This video has gone on way too long, but I wanted to address absolutely everything. If you guys have been here from the beginning, there's a lot of stuff to digest. I understand this has been a saga that I never really fully expected to be like this. I covered the game back in March because I just wanted to know what was going on, what was the hype about, and, and here we are now in August, and the game is over. At the risk of sounding like a monster, uh, I'll say if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you like and subscribe. And um, if you guys want to support the channel, for as little as $12 a year, you guys can go and become a member. I know that's a monstrous thing. I know I'm just I'm, I'm making money off of drama and clicks. But truth be told, I'm just out here letting you guys know how I feel about certain games. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>